Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and explore another new feature in Adobe Fresco that is the magic wand. Okay, so I know if you have used Photoshop, you already know what this particular tool can do, but well, I'm sure you have never used it in Fresco. So let me just quickly show you what all you can do with this absolutely magical tool. And uh, by end of this tutorial, you're going to go ahead and create this artwork with Fresco. So let's just get started. I'm going to click on create new and go to digital and I'll click on current screen size. So just click on it. So first things first, I want to go ahead and share an image with you guys. This image is a little special one for me because I clicked this image in our family farm. So go ahead and download it. You can find everything that I've used in this tutorial or any of my previous tutorials by going on to my blog that is printmesomecolor.com. You can find the link to do that in the description box as well. So click on your images, go to your photos and bring it in. So this is the image that I have. I'm just going to go ahead and use these corners to extend it so that it goes all the way to the edge of the artboard. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a bit because I want the coconut tree to be here and I want some sky over here as well. So maybe like this, that should be good, I guess. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to click on done. Now let's go ahead and check out the magic wand tool. You can find the magic wand under this tool here, click and hold, and then you'll see something called as magic wand, which wasn't there before. So if you still cannot see this, go ahead and update your fresco. You'll be able to see the option right after that. So click on your magic wand. So what does a magic wand do? It actually automatically selects colors or areas, which is very close to that color. So for example, if I just click on this green here, it's, it's going to select that color. But wait a minute, I forgot a really important step. This is an image and we can't use the magic one on an image layer. So click and convert to pixel layer. And now if you go ahead and click the magic one, it's going to go ahead and select those particular areas. And okay, you selected this, now what? What if I want to get this as well into the selection? That's pretty easy. Now you can see there's an option here called as color margin. Just increase this and as you do that, you'll see that it dynamically takes in more parts of this artwork. What this means is it happens simultaneously. So you don't have to like change the setting, go back and select things. You don't have to do that. You can actually do this and you can see it's increasing the area that it's going to select using this particular tool. So, okay, I'm going to go back and I think my 20 or 40, I guess 40 was fine here because it was selecting what all I needed, right? And that's how you select things. But I don't want to select this, click on deselect. All right, so now let's go ahead and select the things that I want to select. That is, I'm going to click on the magic wand and click on the sky. And now this is the area select. So if you getting confused by this overlay thing, just click here on more and there's an option called marching ants and now it kind of converts into marching ants. So you know what's being selected. So now the sky is being selected, but obviously it's not selected everything that constitutes the sky. So now we have to go ahead and select everything that you want to be selected under the selection. That is, I want this area here. So I'm going to click and that gets added to the selection. And similarly over here, here, here. And if you feel like you want to increase the selection area, for example, if you feel like it's not coming nice and you want to increase this line to go a bit inside, then you have to obviously increase the color margin here as well. You have to experiment. Okay, I have to admit, I took a really complicated photograph to show you about magic wand. I could have easily taken something with a blank background, an apple or something which is like perfectly almost round, has a smooth line so that I just show you the magic wand and tell you, oh, see, you're awesome and all that. But I don't want to do that. I want to show you that you can use this tool on complicated things as well. The only difference is that if you use it on complicated things like this, you'll have to put in a little bit more effort into making sure that everything looks good. What I mean is you'll have to go ahead and manually select things um, which you think are necessary. So I'm not going to go ahead and do a lot of selection here because, you know, I do want a perfect, perfect coconut tree happening here when I want to create my silhouette kind of artwork. That's because when you're trying to do the silhouette kind of artwork, it, you don't give so much importance to details, right? So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and select some areas, some bigger areas like this, these things, which you definitely cannot miss. 
um, probably like that and maybe in this leaf you see over here things like this oops use your two finger undo and you can go ahead and select things like this okay that's selected and just select the sky part you see i'm not selecting everything i'm just being a bit lazy but that's okay maybe you want to select some here so that it'll give a nice definition to the coconut tree it won't look like a big blob like I told you, if you're using a simple image, this process is super simple. You don't have to struggle as much as I'm struggling right now. You can finish it within a few minutes. But I like to take my own sweet time and do things. I mean, obviously, if I was working on this more serious and not for the tutorial, I would be doing it even more seriously. Really go in and select things. If I was converting my watercolor artwork into digital one then I would be really digging in and selecting every tiny bit that I would think has to be more but you know with this it's it's okay I think we have selected everything that we want to select so now what all can we do with this so now you know I've selected the sky or the region which shows up at the sky I can click on new layer now and I can use this to actually draw so I'm going to go into my watercolor brushes watercolor and watercolor flash wash flat sorry this is the one wash flat i will go ahead and select some yellow something like this and i'm going to go ahead and add oh wait let me increase it to 512 that's the highest you'll get and i'm going to add some here so i'm on a different layer by the way and it's obviously going to draw on the things that i've selected and i see this isn't selected it looks weird so i'll go back to the selection tool here go back to the image and make sure you select things like this okay See, it's easier when you start applying a color to figure out like what's happening. I'll go back to that yellow layer, go back to my watercolor brush. One thing you should know, you cannot use vector brushes here. If you try to use a vector brush, the selection doesn't happen. So make sure that you use either the pixel brushes or the watercolor brushes here. So I'm just going to draw. I will go ahead and pull this a little down so that it's a bit orange and I'm going to add some orange here. And I'm going to go ahead and take, pull it down so it's a bit red. And then pull it down a bit so that it's more red. Okay, so that's it. That's my sky. Oops, look at this. This did not get selected. Go back. Don't be like me. Uh, spend some time actually working on selections. So I'll go back to that layer. Use my watercolor brush and try to fill in that area which i thought was not nice i can click and hold and select that color and i'm just going to go ahead and fill it a little bit so that's nice and perfect okay that's it that's your sky is done so this is a way in which you can actually color this thing right so now let's hide this and i want to show you something else that you can do with this particular tool so go back to your image and now you can actually totally get rid of the sky completely by clicking on this erase and then it's going to completely delete off that area so that you can have a fresh start over here that's awesome isn't it so that's one more thing that you can do with this particular tool and we are not done yet now what we can do is click on here click and click on inward selection and now it's going to select all the other things that's the coconut tree the leaves and the house and everything and you can actually use the same layer but i'm going to click on a new layer go to your fill tool select black and fill it with a pixel brush to create this silhouette. How easy that was, wasn't it? So that's the magic of the magic wand, by the way. Let's go ahead and uncheck this and then you can see your proper sky and this looks like a really good painting, right? So I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this as well. The other thing that you can do is actually use this to mask your layer content. So if you don't know what layer mask is, I have a video on it. You can go ahead and check it out. I leave the link in the description box below or here in the cards and you can use it to create awesome stuff. Now I'm going to undo it because I don't want to do that and I'll just hide the layer and deselect the selection that I have. I'll bring back in this one. I'll bring back in this one as well. But over here below that I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to fill it with a blue. It doesn't matter which blue, you know, you just fill it in. And I'll hide that because I want to see what I'm doing, right? Now I'll go into my Belgian comics that is in dry ink and Belgian comics and maybe make it white. And I'm going to draw some of the artwork here. So click on plus and then 
draw this here. And I'm being so careless, I'm not particular about how I'm drawing this as long as this, you know, it just looks good. Okay, that's good. Now I'll go here and select a bit lighter blue like that. I'm going to go ahead and draw a bit of lines here. Okay, and make it even more lighter. There you go. I'm going to go here and uncheck this and now it covers everything. Don't worry. What we're going to do is bring it below this and obviously I made it a bit too dark. So I'm going to go here and try to change it into something else. You can choose a lot of things by the way. Color burn, multiply, darker color, lighten screen. See how nice the screen looks? Amazing, right? So yeah, you have so many different options here to create overlay. I think I'll, I like the overlay one. And then finally, you have your artwork ready, which you created from a photograph using your magic wand. So yeah, that's, that's it. That brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you liked it. I hope you like this new tool that we just discovered and then you have fun with it. Please like and subscribe to this channel. If you wanna support this channel, you can always say super thanks by clicking on that button down below or buy me a coffee on ko-fi.com. If you create anything using one of my tutorials, don't forget to tag me on Instagram with bring me some color or theme beyond color. And uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.